is this place? Look how big it is. So here she is. I dropped Robin off really early at the airport this morning to catch his flight and I got ready because today I'm filming a recipe video and a little while ago I asked you what kind of videos you'd like to see more of and the number one request by leaps and bounds was for vlogs and lifestyle videos and if I'm being honest they just make me feel so nervous and vulnerable because I really get in my head with them. I kind of wonder, is this interesting? Am I doing this right? Am I providing some kind of value? Is this good enough? And then I'm like, you know what, never mind. But I want to try to do them more. I do feel like they allow for us to connect more. So these next few days, Robin's not here and it's just me and you. I'm gonna give this a go. For now let's go film a recipe video. Even though this recipe video was just three quick 15 minute meals, our recipe filming days always take <laughs> so long. I get here at like eight in the morning to set up. We start filming at around nine and we go straight through to like six or seven. Cause it's never just the filming. It's also the voiceover, taking the thumbnail photo, cleaning up, transferring footage, which is what I'm waiting for right now. And so by the end of the day, I'm just so ready to become horizontal. I just wanna lay down and binge watch a whole bunch of guilty pleasure reality TV, like stuff that's so bad that it's good. You know, and Robin's not home to judge me for it, so it's gonna be good. The house gets so messy in the day or two before filming a video and I don't know what it is. I feel like I just get so focused. I want the video to be the best it can possibly be. So if it's a recipe video, I want to get groceries, I want to set up, I want to review what I'm going to say. And so it becomes my sole focus and then the house is what takes the hit. So the day after filming, I always feel like is my reset day. It's my day to kind of just clean up, organize, take care of everything that I let fall by the wayside. Oops. I think it's too thick. Is it just me? Like, I can never make the right amount of smoothie. I always end up making too much because I realize, oh, I gotta add a little bit more of this and a little bit more of this, and then it just, it becomes so much. I should follow our own recipes, and then, and then it would be fine. Like, I just realized, I also forgot to add nut butter. Oh my gosh, it's still too thick too. You wanna join me for some smoothie? This is, look at how much this is. Mmm, doesn't look very good, but that tastes very good. So it's spring and I feel like our garden just could use a little bit of love. Last year I tried planting, which you might have seen, um, different vegetables for the first time and that was fun, but our garden has loads of slugs. I don't want to kill them, but they also eat everything. And it just felt a little bit, I don't know. It wasn't as rewarding as I thought. There are certain things that I definitely want to keep in the garden. Like kale was a really good one. And mint in the pot was awesome. But the lettuce, the Swiss chard, the beetroots. I think I'm going to go for flowers this time. I just want our garden to be like super colorful. So Robin's mom uh, offered to come with me plant shopping because I just still feel like with gardening stuff, I don't know my way around. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to get. And she has the most beautiful garden and has loads of experience. So she said she would join me today. What is this place? Look how big it is. <sighs> I'm 
just left the plants in the car for now and I'm hoping they'll survive the next few hours. I just wanna head into the studio and catch up on some work. And today is also a recipe testing day. Andrea and Sonia have whipped up some delicious baked goods. And if I'm lucky, there's something for me to eat and to taste test. Oh shit, that's what I look like! Oh my god. These are very good. Very good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're trying to make the shadow legend, right? The longer you cook it, the liquidier it gets. <laughs> so the option of just uh, boiling it down in a saucepan. Oh, I'm gonna keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. <laughs> oh my god, I love this texture. The texture seems perfect though. Oh, no. I mean, we can taste test it now, can we? Yes. Cheers to our moldy bread. <laughs> I will find my way to the coast, to the coast where the water meets me. Every Thursday, the ladies from the neighborhood that we live in, they get together to do a boot camp. So that's today. And I was a little bit hesitant joining at first, uh, just because social anxiety, I guess. But it's actually been really awesome. And just getting to know the ladies of the neighborhood, supporting each other, um, yeah, learning more about each other. It makes, it makes the experience of living here, honestly, a lot nicer. So anyway, that's what I'm off to do right now. I feel the sea breeze. So we're remaking all of the recipes that were old recipes from our website. We're re-photographing them so they look fresh and new for the website, but also for the app so that it has kind of step-by-step -step photos for every recipe. And one of the ones that we haven't done yet is the kombucha, which is like one of the OG recipes from our website. And the thing is, I don't have a scoby. So I went online, this Dutch marketplace is what it's called. It's kind of like a Craigslist. And I'm about to go buy a scoby off of somebody that I don't know. Hopefully it goes well, it should go well. So here she is. That's the scoby in there, floating around in there. The girl I bought it from was so sweet. Do you ever like, meet a total stranger and you're like, I wish we could be friends. I wish we could be really good friends, maybe best friends. And then sometimes I think I'm like, I should ask them that, you wanna be friends? And I'm like, I just met you. That would be super weird. You're gonna think I'm really weird. So then I don't say anything. I wish we could be more forward. And by we, I mean me. <laughs> I love Robin, but he just doesn't put things into a calendar and sometimes it drives me crazy. So a few weeks ago, his cousin, his step cousin invited us to her wedding. And then just a few days later, he booked this boy's trip that he's currently on, not realizing that the date literally overlaps with the wedding we just said we would go to. So now Robin is in Tenerife and I'm going to this wedding on my own. This is my first Dutch wedding. I'm just like, I don't know what to wear. What is it like? I just don't have like my, my person to be there with me through that. It's fine. I think maybe my biggest kind of crisis right now is that I just feel like I don't have a dress. I don't know what to wear. I kinda just, I wish you were with me in real time to be like, Sadie, wear that one. Cause right now all you're gonna see is me wear different dresses. And then I have to choose one on my own. But, 
bottle, not like, ooh, let's have a good time. So for that, I got that sparkly thing. Look at it. For the back, I need help doing that. I feel like, okay, so here's the thing. I've been to many Afghan weddings, and Afghan weddings are like red carpet events. You deck out from head to toe gowns. You're wearing gala gowns. But I feel like Dutch people are a bit more um, down to earth, let's put it that way. So I feel like I don't want to wear anything over the top. Not that I have anything over the top anyway. So I feel like I like this one. But is this just too plain? And is black okay for a wedding? And this is the one. Yeah, I think I really like that. Okay, I feel like I'm also running behind, so let's go. Robin's mom's coming over to help me garden because she's really good at it, especially with flowers, and I don't really know what to do with all of this, so she's gonna give me a hand. And then later, the girlfriends of the guys who have gone on this trip together, we're getting together for some drinks and dinner, which I'm gonna make. So I'm gonna make my sister's spicy miso sesame ramen. If you're looking for the link, I'll leave it for you somewhere right here. This is the end of today's vlog. Thank you for hanging with me. And who knows, maybe I'll do some more of these if you enjoy them. Okay, bye. Hey. You're so tanned. Oh my gosh, really? you're so tanned. Yeah. <laughs> you want to say uh, hi, you're in the vlog. Hi. Oh, this is the vlog? Yeah, this is the end of it. Oh, nice. <laughs> Bye! Bye! <laughs>